Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Alejandra Arcia reporting for Kids First. And today I will be talking about one of the first films that was released in 2019 called Glass. To start off, I want to say that this movie kept me at the edge of my seat the whole time. The movie creators made sure to take the viewers on a roller coaster of twists and turns with the exceptional acting that the cast did. They did this by communicating their feelings or the feelings the characters were having towards the audience in a great way that we felt that we were inside the movie with the characters battling and fighting with the situations and the events that would take place. Also, I really liked that the director set up all the events to lead up to the big conclusion. So at the end, you would get all your questions answered and I thought it was a great way to keep the suspense going and to keep the audience entertained and to not go away from the movie. The movie Glass is a mixture of two original narratives called Unbreakable and Split. And Glass is a mixture of these two stories with all the characters combined to make a revised plot combined. Kevin Wendell Crumb, David Dunn, and Mr. Glass come in a new adventure to fight their demons from the other movies. And Kevin Wendell Crumb brings along Casey Cook, which was the only survivor from one of his multiple personalities. And at the end of the movie, it's a conclusion from all the movie series that end in an unexpected but impressive way that ties all the stories together and gives a conclusion to the audience. My favorite part of this film is when Kevin Wendell Crumb is switching back and forth from his different personalities and multiple ways of being once he's taken into the hospital. I thought this part was really one of my favorites because it is really funny to relive and see how he's impersonating and how he is acting with all these different personalities and how he's acting like different kinds of people. And I think, in my opinion, it is a great scene because the plot is so tense and so heavy with all the dangerous fights and all the serious situations that the characters are going through that I think it is relieving for the audience to have one of these moments that makes them laugh and reminds them of how joyful it is to watch this actor play out all these different characters. Personally, I don't think the audience can take any life lessons or valuable messages that they can apply to their own life, but instead I think they can only take entertainment aspects to their life. They get an answer from tying all these three different movies together and they get a conclusion to finalize the movie series and the storyline. I rate this movie 5 out of 5 stars and I recommend it from ages 14 and up. Don't forget to watch Glass on January 18th, 2019. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Alejandra Arcia reporting for Kids First. See you next time. If you done, Elijah.